Hello again everyone. Now because this question has been asked repeatedly, I've decided to make a little follow up. Uh, basically the question I'm talking about is this one. What about to the PC, PC for Bluetooth file transfers? Now the procedure works. Uh, this would be initially the video was on 8 Windows 8 Pro. I'm currently running Windows 8.1 but the procedure is still pretty much going to be the same uh, just so you are aware I am using an Android phone to do this that would be the phone now I already have my phone pair so it would already be listed in my device lists I go over here bring my charms up bring that up and change PC settings now I go over here and PC and devices and Bluetooth that would be my phone right there now if it's connected all you gotta do is have your Bluetooth turned on make sure it's already paired and the show is connected as long as your Bluetooth is on so from this point on we're gonna switch over to a different recorder I just wanted to show you and make sure you understand that this is an Android phone I'm doing this with as well as I am running Windows 8.1 as I said the 8.1 is pretty much the same thing as I had for Windows 8 so see you back in a little bit okay so now as you saw I'm actually going to be transferring a file from an Android phone uh, basically I'm just going to pick a random picture file because it would be the easiest thing to actually do to demonstrate this now my phone is already paired and I would like I said before I would recommend pairing it so if you have this Bluetooth icon here click on it or right click on it either one should bring up something like this now if you have a receive to file option this is how you would get it from your phone click on receive a file you'll receive this window and you'll see there's nothing in it yet and the next button is grayed out now the reason the next button is grayed out is because there's nothing actually trying to send anything to the laptop yet in my case so I'm going to find a picture on my phone and click to transfer via Bluetooth and then select my computer as I mentioned this is why you want to have it paired up to begin with now you'll see here it says one six three five five five. I'm going to transfer it to my pictures folder. I mean here wherever you want to put it, you can actually select your folder before you finish. So once you have a uh, folder selected, press finish. And in this case, I already did it before, so I will go to pictures, and that was the one I just transferred. One six three five five five. There's a laptop I actually rebuilt, so just so you know what it is. Now, if you do not have the send or receive options here, and you already have it paired up, you, the other way you can do this, and this method actually works, uh, I believe, on Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. What you can do is you go into notepad so hit run um, you can go down here right click pick run or the windows button and R type notepad so I'll bring up your little notepad but you're going to type is F S Q U I R T F script and then save as change this bottom one to all files because you don't want to save it as a txt um, in this case I'm just going to type it as a bluetooth period bat it's going to be a batch file and I'm going to put this on my desktop because I want to be able to find it real quick I'm going to save it and close it so basically now what we'll do is we'll double click on the batch file we just created and you'll get this window send or receive so I'm gonna pick receive 
and we're gonna send a different picture this time. Yeah, send my logo. Yeah, you got two two one five two three coming in. Two two one five zero three. Finish. Replace because as I said I already did this to test to make sure it worked. And we got two two one five zero three. So that is both methods to do this. As I said, I'm running Windows 8.1 currently. Uh, this is also how it worked on Windows 8 for me. I had Windows 8 and the version was uh, professional. I can't recall what version of 8.1 this is. I believe this is Enterprise. I'm not exactly sure. But as I said, if you don't actually have, I would recommend pairing up your device first in the devices. Um, that could be done through here, settings. Change PC settings and PC and devices and then Bluetooth. I would recommend doing the pairing first. That's always wise. And once you have the pairing done, you can either use this option. If it's not available, just send or receive a file through that option. You can use the creation of the batch file. So I hope this helps and Hope everyone has more success with doing their Bluetooth transfers. Have a good one.